Welcome, I'm Dr. Cena, a dermatologist based in the UK, and today I'm going to tackle some common skincare questions about skin aging. So let's start off with the biggie. What causes skin aging? So as we age, there are two main things which essentially fundamentally contribute to skin aging. Firstly, internal or intrinsic factors, and then there are external factors as well. So with internal factors, we're talking a lot about genetics and how our bodies are able to respond to cellular damage and the natural abundance of collagen and elastin within our skin, which varies from individual to individual. Then we have the extrinsic factors. So from the outside, we've got air pollution, repeated exposure to ultraviolet radiation and smoking, to name a few. So how does sun exposure affect skin aging? First off, I have to declare that there are some benefits of sunlight and this is something which isn't talked about enough. Our skin uses sunlight beneficially for the synthesis of vitamin D which is important to keep our muscles and bones healthy together with maintaining energy levels and ensuring optimum function of the immune system. However when we are exposed to repeated bouts of excessive sunlight the ultraviolet rays can react with cells to create reactive oxygen species. Think of them as molecules in our skin which cause stress and inflammation effectively speeding up the aging process. Luckily there are numerous protective factors we can instigate from what we eat, how we protect our skin using sunscreen and the active products we may use. So what could we do to help or even better prevent skin aging? So as long as humans have been around, this has been the age old question since Cleopatra's days and beyond. The fundamental truth is there is no magic bullets and some factors you can't control like genetics. If there is one major flaw to your lifestyle that you can actively change, for example, improving your diet, stopping using sunbeds or stopping smoking, then this is likely to be a very useful thing for you. However, we have seen breakthroughs in the last 50 years with products which can help. Topical retinoids, which are probably the most famous example, and more recently, Matrixel 3000, which contains two active peptides, and these boost the production of collagen and suppress inflammatory pathways in the skin. And Deepology has gone one step further with microdart patches, and these are designed to get products deeper into the skin to enhance their anti-aging benefits. So let's round up this Q&A with one final question. At what age does the skin start aging? Now this is quite a juicy one because in actual fact your cells, including the ones in your skin, are actually aging in a sense from birth. Your cells have a limited number of times that they can replicate and renew and this is defined by your genetics. So then the question becomes, when do you start to first notice the effects of aging? And this is something which is unique to everyone, but I generally say if you've reached your late 20s and haven't become cognizant of developing a lifestyle and skincare habits to help tackle aging, then this is probably the time that you should really get going. Although the old saying goes, it's never too early to start taking your skincare routine seriously. If you found this video useful, please kindly like and subscribe and do check out Deepology's channel for their incredible range of products products, including their anti-aging range.